my dream is to be successful and hope that others around me are successful. Denicia Bryant shared her goals for the future during a talking circle at Sen High School. Talking circles are an integral part of Sen's restorative justice program, which aims to change the traditional methods of discipline. My name is Alexis Jennings, and I do the restorative justice program here at Sen High School. Restorative justice program started here at Sen about 17 years ago, so it's quite established, especially for being in a CPS school. Um, and it came about because students in the school were really frustrated by the fact that they felt like they were being targeted and they didn't feel like they really had a voice in talking about certain discipline issues and other like school rules and things that were going on. The program operates on a referral basis in which teachers can send students as a form of discipline. The students then meet with student peace ambassadors as a way to better understand what led them to getting in trouble. After that, what they do is they try and come up to some kind of like creative restitution to, to address what had happened and hope so that it doesn't happen again. <laughs> we'll, do, we'll do it this style. I like doing it this way instead of like having to talk to you the talking piece. My name is Denicia Bryant, 17. I am a senior at Sen High School. I found restorative justice by accident, <laughs> but it was good that I found it. I was a new kid in a very large school. Bryant says the program helped her acclimate to the new community, which is the objective of talking circles. These circles are used as a preventative measure to discipline because it helps build relationships among students. I think it's a very important part because there's a lot that goes on here. I mean, you can't keep track of every student. So um, with restorative justice, it, it, it helps keep up with kids. Kate Jones, a restorative justice intern, says the program gives students a safe space to discuss both school and personal issues. Students come in and they have a place where they actually feel comfortable where they can actually like talk and like be themselves. For Denicia Bryant, the restorative justice program did more than just help her adjust to high school. It has taught her lessons that will stay with her after graduation. Of course, I'm going to continue restorative justice in my life and teaching it to other people.